Who is Batwing? Batwing first appeared in Batman Incorporated 5. Our story begins in Africa. David and his brother Isaac are serving as child soldiers for the warlord General Kata. Having displayed superior qualities and an excellent ability to kill, David and Isaac were promoted in Kata's army. On their next mission, they were to track down one of Kata's enemies. They arrived to a small village full of women and children. Kata then orders them to blow up the compound, although they refuse to take such action against innocent children. Kata demands that David follow his orders. Suddenly, Isaac fires his rifle into the air, giving away their position. Later, Kata was furious as he begins to beat Isaac for insubordination. Just as Kata is about to kill him, Isaac grabs a rock and bashes his head. In a sudden move, Kata slices Isaac across the chest with his machete and throws him off of a cliff. Kata then orders his men to kill David, but he manages to break free and run into the jungle. Later, a soldier reports that they weren't able to find David. Kata decides to track down the boy in the morning, and then goes to sleep. In the middle of the night, David sneaks into Kata's camp and kidnaps him. David declares that he won't kill anymore. He drives near Kata's enemy's camp. David then leaves Kata tied up and alone, then fires a shot into the sky leaving his enemies to find him. Days later, David was found by Machu and Renee. They ran a rehabilitation center for former child soldiers, and the two of them then raised David. David was very troubled and depressed from his early childhood, and he would frequently escape the center. Although, he eventually grew to love and respect Machu and Renee for helping him. Years later, David becomes a police officer in an attempt to reconcile for his sins. During his time as an officer, David begins to see signs of a corrupted police force. Later, Machu and Rene are driving through the city as they are suddenly attacked by metahumans. These metahumans would frequently terrorize villages in Africa, their leader was known as Death Jack. David rushes to the hospital to find out what happened to his loved ones. The doctor reveals that Machu is injured and has lost his eye, but Rene was placed on life support. Later, Death Jack is seen torturing a victim in an abandoned shack. David then appears in a mask, then attacks Jack and beats him. He then ties him up and leaves him outside the Tinasha Police Department. Later, David finds out that Rene had died. David continued to fight as a vigilante against the terror of his hometown. One night as he was fighting criminals, Batman appears. He informs him that he can help him fight against crime. In Gotham, Bruce Wayne had recently announced his new vision at the press conference. Bruce publicly announces that he has been financing the Batman, and wishes to see more heroes like Batman around the world to fight for justice. This new venture was called Batman Incorporated. 
Batman then takes David and Machu back to the Batman Incorporated Armory in Gotham City. There they speak with Batman and Lucius Fox. They begin to tell them of their goal to spread the idea of Batman worldwide. They explain that with their technology and guidance, David can become a soldier in this new army. Batman then presents David with a new heavily armored, flight-capable suit. David then began to fight crime under his new code name, Batwing. Years later, the mantle of Batwing was taken by Luke Fox, although that is a story for another time. With David's will to fight crime and his high-tech bat suit, he has become a very powerful member of the bat family. Please like this video and subscribe for more unknown comic origins.